Hey, this is Hillel Fold coming to you from Beit Shemesh, Israel. And I wanted to share some thoughts with you, uh, the guilt status audience. Whether or not you're familiar, Israel is a country, a state smaller than the size of New Jersey in the most unstable region on planet Earth, the Middle East. And despite that, there's something truly, truly remarkable going on here in Israel in the technology ecosystem. Really, no matter how you want to look at it, what's going on here in Israel in terms of innovation is outrageous, for lack of a better term. So we can look at the amount of capital flowing in, the billions and billions of dollars flowing into Israel every single year to invest in the next generation, the entrepreneurs. That's one metric. But where is that capital coming from? That's even more interesting. And the answer is everywhere. It's coming from top tier investors in Silicon Valley, top tier investors in New York City, in LA, and in Asia. Even Alibaba, the monstrous Alibaba, has a partnership with JVP, Jerusalem Venture Partners. So the capital flowing in is not just a lot, it's actually high quality, smart, strategic capital. That's another metric. How about the number of unicorns? What's a unicorn? A billion dollar private company. So not a company that went public on you know Wall Street, but a private company worth a billion dollars or more. There are probably close to 50 by now. I mean, I don't have an exact number, but many, many tens of unicorns in Israel, many of whom, by the way, you don't even know are Israeli. Uh, then there's the, uh, the multinationals, the Googles and the Facebooks of the world. So they're all in Israel, every single one of them. Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Intel, IBM, the list just goes on and on. They're all here. Not only are they here, but they're building core elements of their experience here in Israel. For example, Facebook. Facebook's building Facebook Lite, which is a lighter version of their app for emerging markets, places where they don't have high speed internet. Uh, Google is building things like when you Google something, you make a typo. It says, did you mean this? Or core elements of Android built here. The list just goes on. Apple's building the chips for the iPhone here in Israel and on and on. So we talked about capital, quality, and quantity. We talked about unicorns. We talked about multinationals. Um, what about IPOs and exits? You know, Israel's uh, traditionally known as startup nation. What's a startup? You build a venture. You have an idea. You build a venture and you sell it. But that's changing because now Israeli entrepreneurs and investors are looking to both deploy uh, capital into and also build large sustainable businesses that will go public. And we've had endless IPOs. In fact, in 2021 was the first year that Israel had more IPOs than exits, which means startup nation is a thing of the past. We're graduating out of that. Uh, all that's great. But you know what? I think the most important element here about Israeli technology that I think is the most impressive and the most meaningful is what's known as impact technology, as in companies, not nonprofits, regular tech companies that are making the world a better place, whether it's through cancer research, mental health, you know, many, many different sectors of technology that Israeli companies are building and literally changing the world. And we say we're a light unto the nations. We're not a light unto the nations because Google is here, because billions of dollars are being invested in Israel. All that's very nice, but we're a light unto the nations because we are literally changing the world. Again, cancer research, if you just look at the number of companies in this country that are developing cutting edge uh, treatments and cures for cancer, it's it's outrageous. So really what's going on here, like I said in the beginning, is it's just outrageous and it's magnificent really, because the world looks to Israel as, a, as an innovation leader. By the way, traditionally Israel was very good at cyber, because of the military. Today, there's pretty much not a sector of technology in which Israel is not a significant player. I mean, when I say significant, we're not number one in everything, but we're top five for sure in everything, which is amazing. And like I said, we're graduating out of startup nations. So, you know, what's going on here in Israel is just remarkable. I think the state of Israel is the best uh, startup in history. And, um, you know, if you look at any of the signs, any of the metrics, any of the um, projections, it's very clear that Israel as an ecosystem is just getting started and we're just going to continue to grow. And uh, I'm looking forward to the day where we build um, an Instagram or a Google uh, here in Israel. We have yet to do that. We're building, you know, companies like Wix and uh, Waze and Mobileye and Lightrix and so many multi-billion dollar companies, but we have yet to build a trillion dollar company. So that's next on the horizon. I'm excited. And um, yeah, I hope that was somewhat insightful for you. And uh, thank you to Geld Status for the opportunity to share some thoughts with you. Have a wonderful day.